Alrighty. So, let's talk about the Lamborghini, I don't know how to say it, Rev something. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. So, this car right here, um, basically, from my understanding, move the camera a little bit. Oh, I've moved it to completely the wrong way. There we go. From my understanding, this car right here is Lamborghini's new uh, franchise player. It's their brand new flagship car. So, we're going to be talking about it today. Let's take a look at what we got going on in terms of customization. We do not have much. So the customization does very little on the front bumper. Obviously we can change the rims to any of the OEM Lambo rims or whatever you want to do. Uh, this looks pretty tight right now. Should I go black? Black or... Uh, my, 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 my top dish is 39,000. Yeah. Might have to. These also look spectacular. I like these. But uh, I think these are better. And what else do we have? Caliper color, side mirrors, you can change it to OEM paint or carbon fiber. Prefer carbon fiber. And side skirts. So you have the option of changing the little front fascia there. The, um, the, the right in front of the rear qu front quarter panel. You have this little carbon fiber accent piece. You can also change the, just the height of the rear side of the side skirt. I just, I don't know which one I went with. I want that one, I guess. Okay. And the rear wing is actually the worst part of this car. You can't change anything other than the look of this. I think it's because of the active arrow. It's a cover car, so it's a cover car of the game. So they have to respect it, I guess. I don't know. And I went with some... I think I went with this one, the most horrible looking rear bumper. Just for the I think I want to change that, actually. Let's go back to... Uh, I'm going to go to this one. 20,000. Yeah, we got a copy. Interior color. I prefer the OEM, this orange. And uh, yeah, that's all we got for the customization, which is not that crazy. You can't wide body it, the Bugatti, like other cars you can do in this game. You can't really do much. So it is what it is. I mean, let's check out the upgrade from this car. Let's go through it. Not much we can do in terms of performance because I didn't level up my cars all the way because it's just a beta. They're going to probably remove all this. All the hard work you put into the game after we're done. <laughs> oh, yeah, let's take a look at this car. Real quick. I feel like the car behaves with extreme amounts of understeer when you push on the corner. When you're on throttle into it, it, um, it doesn't really give you the feedback as if you're going to slide out and then, you, and then you slide out. And that goes for a second. And right there, so you can see, the, the rear end starts to step out. I don't know if I'm really a big fan of that. That's a classic full wheel drive behavior, but... Give an example, on throttle, and then, and then it just slides over. That's what happens with on throttle. The car looks too damn good though. I don't like how much I can with this. But that is not in the cards. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But beautiful looking car. I love it. Active rear wing. And then with the, the little little boost. I got the gold boost in this thing. Thought I fit the a little better. I guess the rims definitely. Yeah, so is it a good looking car? Yes. Will it matter for PvP? No, because PvP is a VLP. Everything is balanced with power, so one action matters. But will I get records? Probably not. Zero to sixty is not the fastest. The top speed is not the fastest. So it's kind of like in the middle. But it is the cover car of the game. They chose this car for a reason. Maybe because this Lamborghini is a franchise player. So yeah, that's about all I got. Thanks for showing me. Thanks for liking the video, watching the video all the way. It's hard, it's hard. And uh, yeah, pretty good car, pretty good car. Thanks for showing me,